What's up, everybody? AMF here. Um, another big week in football, indeed. Playing against uh, USC, of which, historically, the Ducks have had quite the struggle in there. And if I remember correctly, I believe that the last time they won in the Coliseum was in, like, 2000. Could be wrong. I might be wrong, but I think it's something like that. Either way, it doesn't matter how long ago it was. It's... The Ducks haven't been too great there lately, but the Ducks are playing on all cylinders right now, and that means a lot. Granted, USC is a very good team, but they are a very good offensive team with a very porous defense, i.e., if we do remember here, um, let's go back to the Hawaii game. They lit them up for like 600 yards. And that's pretty bad. It's Hawaii, let's be honest here. Next, I understand Matt Barkley is a good quarterback, averaging 267 yards per game. But they haven't really played all of the really good teams in conference yet, considering that, I mean, they played against a good team in Stanford, and they lost. Now, that's exactly what I'm talking about here, is that they have a good offensive team with a bad defensive squad. And especially since, you know, if they're going to be playing the Ducks that have obviously one of the best offenses in the entire country, are they really going to be able to step up and stop the lightning offense that the Ducks run? The, the offense that only takes about 15 seconds from the end of a play to start the next one which is, on average, about 10 seconds faster than the average NCAA team. Are they going to be able to score on Oregon's defense, which has only given up seven points in the fourth quarter this entire season? I don't know. I You know, they do have a home field advantage in their favor, which is, you know, that's good for them. But I don't think that they'll be able to stop the Ducks. The Ducks are out on a mission right now in my opinion, and I don't even know if it's really an opinion, I think it's pretty much fact, is that the Oregon Ducks are out on a mission to convince the BCS committee that they should be number one. In my opinion, they should have been number one anyways, since on national TV, being the only team playing that day, they went and beat the absolute shit out of UCLA. 60 to, what was it, 13? Something like that. They beat the crap out of them. And you would think that would have been enough, you know, they or, yeah, beating them by, like, you know, 40-something or other points, you would think that would give them the nod. But no, no, considering that the BCS committees are so all over, you know, Cam Newton's jock and the fact that Auburn managed to beat an LSU team that almost lost to Tennessee, which the Ducks beat by, like, 45 points, or no, 35 points, not mind you, they beat them by one, and it was because of a technicality in having too many players on the field. They beat that team by seven. Auburn beat that LSU team that barely, lost, that barely beat Tennessee. They beat them by seven, and they decided that that was the greatest thing that ever happened in the history of the world. And they gave them the nod for it, and they said, you'll be number one now after Oklahoma loses. Could it just be some sort of injustice that they really like the SEC and other East, Eastern-ish teams that much that they really won't give it to the Ducks? I don't know. That's what I. That's the problems that I have with the BCS system. I think it's an absolute fucking joke. So, I mean, in my opinion, I feel like the only way that we'd actually get to number one, obviously, granted, you know, Auburn's going to have to lose to Ole Miss, which if Ole Miss beats them... How awesome would it be to have in, for like Duck fans, this is kind of directed for you guys, how awesome would it be to see the headline in the newspaper, Jeremiah Masoli leads the Ducks to first ever number one BCS ranking. Total irony, right? But super fucking awesome. Anyways, so my prediction on the game is that I see the Ducks winning this game because there's no way in hell that USC is going to be able to stop the offense. Granted, you know, and they have, and two, they have nothing to play for. They're obvious. I mean, they can't be bowl eligible for two years because of 
their sanctions because they are idiots. So, even though they don't have anything to play for and they'd really like to spoil Oregon's chances of going to a championship, I really don't see it happening. I just, I don't. You know, you, in, playing inspired football only goes so far when the team playing that you're playing against is just better. And if I remember correctly, Oregon has a very, very good record playing against USC, regardless of where it is, when they are ranked higher. So that also speaks volumes. So my prediction on the game is that the Ducks will stay in their range of their point average, which is somewhere in the mid-50s, but I would say that they will score 48 points. USC, they are a good team. They have a good offense, so I will give them the benefit of the doubt. They will score 24 that's my. That's going to be my my guess. They will score a, a couple of touchdowns, but they will not be able to keep up with the Oregon offense. They will probably. I I call that it will be relatively close during the first half, but eventually they will wear down, and the Ducks will come out on top. So 48-24. That is my prediction. And uh, closing note, as all these seem to go, go Ducks. Fuck the Trojans, you lying, cheating little bastards. And uh, hopefully we can get a number one ranking out of this, providing that something goes in our favor. The number ones have a big problem with winning, and they are playing in Ole Miss's territory. So, as a Duck fan, a loyal Duck fan, regardless of the stupid shit that he did, I say, go Jeremiah Masoli. Please, for the love of God, show Cam Newton what in Oregon offense is all about. You know the offense, give it to them. Hardcore, yes. So, AMF saying, goodbye for now, go Ducks, fuck the Trojans, everybody's gonna be watching. So, see you guys later.